Now onto something completely different. If you've struck upon something you're convinced is a world-changing innovation and want to make sure that no one else copies it, well, one way is to file a patent. Sudhir Sayal tells us how. Fine-tuning of multiple prototypes to come up with that one product innovation which could earn you millions of dollars. But alas, all of it could turn to zilch if you don't have that one vital document, the patent. A bike charger for your mobile phone, a mechanical one to ensure the charge doesn't wind up. Yup, product innovations like these meant that a patent was something Mumbai-based Idea Forge had to consider. When you have a patent, at an organized level, you will find that people will not rip your product off. It adds a lot of value in terms of raising funding from investors because they want to see that they have something that they can protect. At the same time, you get to brag about it. The bragging being referred to is the patent pending mark you can put next to your innovation. What determines an innovation though? And how do you know if your creation is actually patentable? To answer this and many other questions, we met Dr. Prabuddha Ganguly, one of the most eminent consultants in the space of intellectual property rights. Three essential criteria that your innovation or invention has to be novel, it must be new. Simultaneously, it must have an inventive step and it must be useful or industrially applicable. Once a startup has set its sights on patenting a product, the next step is to study other patents in the same field, commonly referred to as the prior art search. This was something IdeaForge did, which helped them zero in on the specifics of the patent for their mechanical charger. People have patented a lot of aspects of similar products and primarily everyone is binding the charger. And what we realized was that when you look at it from the application of using a mobile phone, you don't really want to always engage both your hands in the process of powering your phone. You want to make sure that you can actually take a call while you are charging your phone. That was our patent. Finally, the exact process of filing a patent, which can be broken down to four simple steps. A. Do a prior art search to know what has been done in the past or what's been patented. B. Get your proof of concept established, file a provisional patent application, then within 12 months file the complete specification and then ask for the examination, defend your patent vis-a-vis -vis the questions raised by the patent office and it will take you to the ground of a patent. The entire process takes approximately three years and can be completed online, though most prefer to consult a patent advisor. The fixed cost involved in patent filing is 4000 for the filing of the patent and 10000 for a request for examination. Guidance from a patent advisor should cost you approximately a lakh depending upon the complexity involved. All patents are territorial in nature, so it's not the Indian markets, but the global ones you're after. Remember you have to get your patent filed individually in every country. Sounds mighty expensive, we'll ask any millionaire entrepreneur and he'll tell you that it's well worth it. Well worth it? Yes. Just ask Alicia Gray, who lost out in a certain little invention called the telephone simply because Graham Bell filed a patent for it three hours earlier.